Hi friends, this is Vicki with Grandma Vicki Crafts. Today we're going to make a Jenga block bunny using the Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree and some weld bond glue that I got here at our local Rona store where I live in Canada. So what we're going to do is make a body, make two front legs, make two hind legs, make the side that goes on the side for his body. We're going to make a neck and a head. So now I'll go over how we do this. So first of all, for the body, and I have to say this is not my idea. I was inspired by another crafter whom I will link uh, in my description box at the end of my video. So to make this bunny, the body, we have 116 blocks. We have eight, eight, seven, and six, and I've made four rows of that. So that will be the body of the bunny. Then for the front of the bunny, that goes on there, I have used two on top of two, which is four, and then one in front. For the hind legs, I've used three on top of three, and then two the other way. For his front legs, I've used two on top of two, on top of two, and then one for his foot. And that will be his two legs. For the, the neck, I have used six blocks, and there's three on top of three, and they're sitting this way, this direction, not flat, this direction. So now for the bunny's head, it has two parts for the head. So for the bottom half of the head, I have got six blocks and four rows. And the blocks are glued together this way. So that's the bottom part of the head. And then for the top part of his head, I've got five blocks going across this way and three times. I've got three rows. So three rows of five blocks going this way. So therefore then when we have our bunny ready to put together, we will be putting his legs on, one on either side, So I'm going to go and I'm going to glue my bunny together now and then I'll be back and we'll work on the ears and the rest of the bunny. So I have my bunny all glued together and this is what he's looking like so far. So now for his eyes and his First of all, I guess for his little nose, I used these uh, little wooden beads that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I took a piece of, of raffia and I put it through the hole in, in the little bead and I pulled it through and I did the same on the other side and I pulled it through.
like so. And then I just cut the ends and that's how I made the bunny's whiskers. And then I used the other one and I glued it on top as well. So then I took my Cricut and I made the little eyes and the little nose and the little teeth. So I had this little bunny hat in my, in my stash and I was going to use the ears off of this for the bunny's ears. So I just took them off of here, both of them, and I wanted them not to be white. So I dipped them in leftover coffee from my coffee pot and then I set them to dry. There's also a little wire in here as well, so that'll be good to shape the ear after when I get it on the bunny. So then I did the same for the tail. I also dipped the tail in the coffee to make it a little bit browner as well. And the tail is um, it's called Snowball Decor, and I also got that at the Dollar Tree. So that's his little ears and his little tail. So also on his face, I did give him a little bit of blush. So now I'll go and I will glue his ears and his tail on and I'll be back. So there we have it. I've got his ears glued on and his tail is glued on. And all I have left to do is put on a little ribbon or a bow at his neck and he'll be all finished. Now the number of Jenga blocks that I used for that I used for this um, bunny was 184. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, the lady's name that inspired me to do this, uh, or her channel, is, is called The Crafty Shopper. So it would be nice for you to go and see all her ideas that she has using the Jenga blocks. She's a very talented crafter. So if you like this and you'd like to share with your friends, please do so. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And always remember to be kind. Thanks for watching. Bye now.